Well, if there's any consolation at all, it's that we're making money again. Good day to you, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms, the Britannia Campaign. Fred of Asgarnia here, and we are currently not only trying to keep our heads above water, but we're also laying siege to Athenry. The English destroyed us in that last battle. It was a pure slogging match. Basically a contest. Who could beat the stuffing out of each other first? Seems the English won, by virtue of their walls. We'll build a merchant's wharf. We just need to make money, because we're going to have a big war to fight later. What the? What's that mean? What have we lost? Oh good, Derry's ready to upgrade. So, I will upgrade it. And we will end the turn. We're just trying to starve Athenry out. Explorer's Guild. Ah, uh, why not? I have no idea what it does. I never did. Once again, we waste because there's very little we can do. We're not exactly wealthy. Come on. Oh, lucid visions. Reporting reports are coming from northern Italy of scholars placing delicate glass lenses on a thin metallic. Blah, 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 on a thin metallic frame to be worn on the face. Apparently if the lenses are made to the correct size, they can help those with poor sight see normal, see like normal, healthier citizens. Ugh. Atheists, uh, uh, oh, Jesus. Atheists. Among the scholarly community are concerned that wearing such a contraption will be teased or shunned. They're talking about glasses, and that was quite prophetic, because they did get teased and shunned. That's what you did for wearing glasses. Don't know how many of you wear glasses. But in my experience, people don't tend to get off lightly from wearing glasses. God knows why. Paved roads. Spending a lot of money, but, you know, it's conducive to our survival. I hate long sieges. But they're necessary. You can't win a war without them. But Jesus, they totally crippled our army. We're gonna need... It's just a lesson. If we want to win, like when we invade England, we're going to need a bloody strong army. And I mean a bloody strong army. Not just a, a good army. We're going to need one that will cause absolute slaughter and widespread death and destruction. That's what we're going to need if we're, gonna, if we're going to conquer England. Hopefully we can... A new discovery oh, to change oh. the course of warfare. Gunpowder. This dark powder may look innocent enough, but when brought to spark, it explodes with a force that is unmatched. This terrible weapon will make armor obsolete and render castle walls near useless. It would be wise to be the first to master its use in war. Me gusta. Gunpowder people. First introduced in what year is it? Have we lost a single battle? No, we haven't lost anything yet. We're doing well. Right. And we control how many cities? We control 12 regions, and we need to control 35. So we're doing quite well in the grand scheme of things. But, what year is it? Come on. Can't you tell me what year it is? Please? Jesus Christ, I've no idea what year it is. It's a shame, really. Uh, I'm an idiot. A true idiot. Abby. Well, fortunately, culture is still another two turns. We'll have them. We'll get them. They can hardly last long. Uh, let's see. Derry. Fairground. I don't know how much money we're actually making on trade. I should probably look into that. And mining network, because mines always make money. But there is one thing I need to look into. Trim. Can we make gunsmiths? Eh, nah, practice range, why not? We have money to kill, we have money to burn. And I think we may have run out of money. Yep, Q stalled. We're broke again. Alright, next turn Athenry should fall unless they choose to sally out. Which is possible. And if so, we will kick their bloody asses. Yep, they chose to sally. 
Now, see, this is what happens. Now that they have to fight us on the open field, now that they have to sally forth. Buggers. Now that they have to sally, we destroyed them. The price of defiance! Oh, the barons have revolted. A new threat to the English throne has emerged from within. A number of barons, led by the, ne by the treacherous Simon de Montfort, I was right, have formed a powerful alliance, which seeks to overthrow the English king and bring about a new system of governance. While some of these barons have the best interests of the English people in mind, many see this as their opportunity to acquire the wealth and, wealth and power they feel they're entitled to. So now that Athenry has been taken, we now have four new units of Mura in Cork. So, next time we're going to do is we're going to attack Dublin. We'll take Dublin off the off the rebels. But now the English have been driven out of Ireland. That is just cause, I believe, for celebration. But first, we need to smoke them out. Bring the artillery. Bring all of our heavy infantry. You're all invited to a plunder and pillage party. Oh, a spy actually op opened the place. We didn't even need artillery. We won. So, we've just effectively we taken our... Oh, gunsmith. Warriors. Excellent. This means we're going to be able to take good stuff soon. Guns, people. Guns. Ugh. Once Dublin is ours, the whole of Ireland will be Irish. Right. So this army, I'm not even going to give it time to recover. I'm just going to march it south. We'll accumulate men in for Munster. That's what we're gonna. That's where we are, Munster. We'll accumulate men in Munster, and once we've done that, we'll get our armies together and we'll go for Dublin. Actually, I did have a spy in here, didn't I? You, Lauren. Something to investigate. Oh, Billy Conley. See what's. We'll see what's in there. We don't really know, but we'll find out. In the meantime, I want more Mura. More Mura. And hopefully, hopefully guns shortly enough. <laughs> oh, the joys of being a bastard with heavy artillery. I'm probably going to have to reduce tax rates of any... Oh. Kill add the mean. I could just kill him in battle. In fact, that would probably be simpler, come to think of it. I look forward to fighting you. Ah, he can wait, he can live. We're the richest, which probably means that the rest of the world is fucking broke. Says a lot. Alright, Lauren. See what they have in Dublin. In Ballyachaclea. Ooh. She'll be a tough nut to crack, alright. So this isn't going to end well. Call it an instinct. Oh? Oops! Why is it whenever the 58% is supposedly on my side, it goes wrong? Ouch! My heart bleeds for you, but not as much as your heart does for yourself. Fortunately, actually, try. Please. Oh, you missed him. You're a fucking disgrace. All right. Just march these men south to King Brian. Hopefully, we'll be able to mass an army and we can attack soon. And didn't I have a merchant brewing here, didn't I? I'm a lord. I'm a lord. I'm a l Whoa. Dyes are worth money, people. And textiles. We can make money. Now we're rich. Thanks to tax cuts and EU. I lord. I we're making a we're making a, a small sum, which is good. I like making money. I sir. Because who d do we even have a merchant in Cork? We do. Silver isn't worth very much. Bound to be some more good stuff around here. Textiles. Traditionally, actually, textiles was a strong industry around Belfast and in the north. 
A lot of money. A lot of money to be made. Well... Well, see what you can make from silver. Opening a new trade lane style. We'll make money. I'm confident of that, at least. Where did I put those men? Where did I put my mirror? An enemy to crush. I, Lord. We have a problem. Outside. I have mirror and I don't know what I did with them. What? Good girl, but I'm as thick as mold mead. Oh, Edward has returned from Scotland. After or for a successful the Holy Land. crusade in the Holy Land, Edward returns home a hero. Battle hardened and with Templar forces in tow, the English people rejoice, believing Edward can only lead them to further victories, as he now turns his attention to conflict closer to home. And I've, I've said before, Edward was a warmonger. They didn't, and he was a bloody good one at that. They did not call him Hammer of the Scots for no reason. Didn't I tell you to get you north? Okay, we're, whoa, Jesus, we made a lot of money. This is what I mean, constantly... Aye. There you are. How'd you get all the way up there? Aye, sire. Uh, yeah, looks like we'll do quite well. We should have enough heavy infantry to crack the nut that is Dublin. Hopefully. I'd rather we want... Jesus, Don Patrick's on... Well, I'm not surprised. Have the taxes through the roof. Uh... Shipwrights, I suppose. We do want to challenge English maritime dominance. And it's only a matter of time before they start landing troops over here to try to take the country back. And I do not want to be I do not want to be the one to have to fight Edward. Excellent. You go here. And uh Um Well I want get rid of you. Right. That's it. Grand Army. On the ball. Probably should try to diversify it a bit. Hopefully we'll be able to take Dublin this time round. I don't mean to... Jeez, the Scots have an army and a half. General. As the Scots have taken it off them. And we're also the most advanced. The most advanced faction in the world. And now England is at war with Norway. Jesus, can, can things get any better? Oh, a bombard. Excellent! Piece of artillery. I'll be looking forward to that, by God. And irrigation. Why not? We have money to spend, so let's spend it. Granted, that's the attitude that is screwing you, that is... Alright, uh, give you this. The church. You know, it'll make you happy. Because religion does that to people. If they think they're valued, they will be happy. Brian? Jeez, it's taken you almost two years to march up and down Ireland. England is now the most advanced. I don't even remember ordering that. Oh no, still Norwegian. Yes, trade rights. Map information. Maybe? Good. Whoa, you're good. Very persuasive. We should call you Lady Macbeth. And I think the Baron's Revolt should have started somewhere around here, so we'll send people up there to support us. Right, next turn Dublin will be ours. Well, my name isn't King Brian the Blessed. Slit the gizzards! And Ireland is ours, people! Ireland is finally ours! Now, if you would please stand for the Irish National Anthem... No. Never mind. No, we'll... we must... we'll put that in, don't worry. Elidir O'Brien. After years of the finest tutelage and training, this boy has at last become a man in the eyes of his father and the rest of the kingdom. Should this prodigal son realize his full potential, perhaps he'll one day make a worthy heir apparent. I don't believe that for a second, actually, but, you know. 
So, we've marched this army the length and breadth of the country. And now, here we stand. Poised on the edge of a new beginning. We shall take England. England is our next target. We'll just let the Norwegians and the Welsh and everybody else wear them down first. Oh, one more thing. Take that bloody ford off the English. Now! Ireland is ours at last. New. Well, I thought maybe there was a chance. A person. I'm a lord. I'm a lord. Sorry. The, the voice is just hilarious. Okay, we'll just build this stuff up. And we'll see how Optan brings. Yep. Excellent. So, we'll call it a turn, I think. We'll call it a session. It's been very... Si oh, city ready. Down Pantrick. We will upgrade that. That takes priority. Takes precedence. Wales and the Barons Alliance. Alright, well, I think we'll call that a session. We've done remarkably well. We've not only managed to take... We not only took Avon Rye, but we also managed to take the whole of Ireland off the English. Plus, I sent a lot of money in our future. That's what we need to do now. We just need to consolidate our forces and finances, and then we'll launch an attack down here. Who knows, we might even start taking some of these islands, because the English are laying siege to us. And having an island wouldn't do us any harm. You know, we've already got one massive one, so why not just have a couple of small ones? All in the future. All possible. So, this has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always, and I am signing off.